What's good, everybody? It's KJO Gaming, and we're back with some more content. What did you expect? We're back with some Seven Days to Die. And I have been doing some research, and I think I finally have an idea of what I want our base to be. Um, I think we are going to make our base from the ground up. Um... So we're not going to do something that's already like existing. Oh, we got to put everything away still. All right, let's go ahead and do that then. How much? We have 56 raw meat. That's not bad. Coffee. Coffee can go in here. Oh, we got steel knuckles. We have a level one and a level three pistol. Um, we'll take you, modify, take this off, and then let's break you down. Um, because we have a level 3 pistol over here. We have a robotic turret. Pump shotgun is better than the double barrel shotgun. Um, so I think we can go ahead and get rid of that. I think Magnum's better than the pistol, but they use different ammo, right? This uses 9 mil and this uses 44. Uh, so we'll hold on to the pistol. We also have the nail gun. Um, these can go in here. This is light armor. We'll hold on to that. And then we can give these to... I'm assuming that's Jen, right? Uh, we have some iron and let's start smelting some brass finally uh so let's grab we don't need four cooking pots a little ridiculous go ahead and grab 10 coal and let's get this smelting do we have any more iron doesn't look like it mini bike chases I don't know if we can deconstruct this or not. It doesn't look like it. Um, we have a little more iron from that cooking pot, though. Let's put that in here. And... Talk to Trader. Okay, let's go turn in this quest real quick. Uh, we're currently 36 out of 60 on the tier. Uh, what do we need to repair this? With the repair kit. Okay. Gonna need to repair our uh, spear soon as well. Wouldn't mind looking into more modifications. Um, and once we get this base set up, I don't. I haven't used any of the turrets yet, so I don't necessarily know how they work. I'm assuming that you need electricity to run them. Just a guess, maybe not. Uh, we'll have to do some testing, if and then I don't by, know what ammo that's going to use. Place. But if you do, just make sure it's here. I don't want the five lock picks, but we can make more. Um, infested clear. What's the difference between infested and clear zombies? Are you looking to earn some dukes? I've got jobs for someone like you. Has become an infested zombie hive. Oh, thank goodness! I couldn't find anyone to do that job. Uh, what's Feeling in your inventory? Under the weather, Trader Jen is here to help. I'm not too worried about any of this stuff right now. Sorry, but I've never heard of a stim pack. Stim, uh, she. I've noticed that she makes a lot of Fallout references. Stim packs. The other day, she mentioned like Radix and stuff. That's kind of funny. Okay, quest is over that way. But we kind of need to decide where we are going to put our base. Kind of get started on that. We have three days until the next horde. I mean, maybe just like in this area. I feel like this is far enough from... Let's do it here. So I'm going to do 
uh, from what I understand, it's called a hybrid base. Um, and we are going to do a pit. So, I don't know if you guys are too familiar with the terminology. I am just now getting familiar myself. Um, but we need a bunch of building blocks. So let's build... Let's just start with 50. Might as well clear out this area. Get a whole bunch of charcoal. Get a bunch of wood. Okay, we just broke that stone. Um, and first things first. Start putting these in our inventory. And how... Dude, I don't remember how a shift click. No. How do we do the variants again? Click or shift click to select a variant. Hold the reload action. That's what I needed. Shape. So first we're going to start with stairs filled. And we'll build it out this way. Um, reload. Shape, and then let's do corner pieces. Ah, I keep, keep pressing the wrong buttons. All these different games that I'm playing with different controls really messes me up sometimes. Okay, so we're gonna start with this. Not what I wanted to do. And then we wanna go with basic. Now how high do we wanna go here? Uh, we want more stairs filled. And then go back to basic. Dang it. Is that gonna be high enough? Do we need to do one more high? Maybe. Uh, back to stairs filled. Place this down. I think that should be good. Uh, let's go back to our basic shape. Actually, not the basic shape. Did that go away? Okay. Um, we want to do more of a column whole centered then how how do we rotate the other way on face okay so we actually don't want that shape we want whole side centered and then left click perfect we want something like this Nope. Okay, but we also need... Shape. Okay, so center is right here. Don't know how big we want to make this quite yet. One, two, three. One, two, three. Trying to get our supports going. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, oh, one more. Okay, 
So we'll go ahead and do that. And we probably need this one more high. Can't quite reach there. Uh, so let's go back to shape. Full side centered. Now you... You're gonna break off eventually. Because you need more support. Um... The one more basic layer. And we want to go something like this. Now we should be able to connect the two. Whole side centered. Boom. And boom. Okay, perfect. I think that's how we want it. And then let's get more basic shapes. Uh, we probably need another 50 of these we'll go for, for now. Perfect. Okay, and then we gotta fill it in. Hoping this is tall enough. Okay, then we get some columns going. Probably three high. Get some columns here. And then... Where is the hatch? We have a plate. Oh, wow. Construction, maybe? We're looking for a hatch. No? How do we build hatches? Counter flip door, maybe? Or is a hatch something we actually build? Ah. Should probably build an iron hatch. Can't build a steel hatch. I want you rotated on base. Simple. Oops. Because I did not mean to do that. Okay, place this down, and then if we get a hatch here. Nope. Can I pick you up? No. Um, wooden hatch. Like this, yeah? Perfect. And then that'll stop zombies from coming through. But we can put it down and walk through, flip it up, and zombies can't get through. Okay. Um... I think all this stuff can be closed off.
Get another 50 going. Not sure if I want to do windows or like an alternative entrance over here. Okay, we got that. Should be able to place this down. What can we do to reinforce this? Shape. Can we do a, a pole like this? Rotate you. On face. No. Not what I wanted. I want you... Yeah, I don't want you on there like that. I want you, like, laying down. How do we rotate it like that? Maybe it's something else? Shouldn't be side-centered. something that lays down like a ledge Grim What if we go like this Can we still walk through this? But well, we can crouch through it though. Cause that'll give us an extra layer of protection. Um, so if we go, we need the nail gun in order to upgrade this stuff. It's also about to get dark soon though. Aren't these like the whites? I don't think those are like normal zombies. But I was also thinking about like going to the new biomes and stuff. However, I feel like we're getting pretty good loot here. I mean, we're getting the magnum. We got the pump shotgun. And just to look at crafting skills. We go handguns. Magnums we can't even make yet. We're still 12 magazines off. We can't even make the double barrel shotgun. We're 20 magazines off the pump shotgun. So we're getting tier 3 items here. Which means we might even be able to get the lever action rifle. Um, so I feel like this is a good area for us to be at right now. We look at ammo and weapons. Lever action rifle. We need forged steel. Forged steel is iron and clay but we need the crucible and i'm pretty sure we are way off being able to get the crucible uh we can probably just look you up 
Crucible. Yeah, workstation 75 is insane. Um, so we can't make forged steel anytime soon. Uh, what we do need to do is take two repair kits. How do we make a new wrench? Because we can get level six. Um, what's the next stage? The ratchet, and we're only one away. Maybe we wait on the ratchet. How many? We only have one legendary part on us. I don't know if that's what we want to use it for. Uh, so let's go ahead and repair you with a repair kit, and repair you. Uh, this stuff can go away. Um, what kind of food do we have? Uh, let's eat the salmon. We have murky water we can get rid of. Let's eat the tuna. We have potatoes, we have raw meat. We have a bunch of corn, cornmeal. I think that's all we can really cook with at the moment. Uh, if we put some wood in here. Uh, we definitely want all of our water first. And then food wise. This is just going to give us health and not water. Boiled meat gives us both health and water. Or, uh, food and water. I think that's the only thing that does. So I think we'll go with five boiled meats. We need to find... I'd honestly rather just, uh... Rather than doing that, let's save our meat. Um... We have four goldenrod teas. But I'd rather do bacon and eggs, and that way we can save our water. We don't have a dew collector yet. Do we have what we need to make one? Can we get rid of this? Okay, let's take this out. Because this is where we're going to put our dew collector. Need to start doing some passive gathering of our um, water. Okay, we got the polymer, we got the duct tape, we got the pipes. Get one of these going. We can put the rest of you back. Uh, let's convert you back into a normal block. We can reach you from down here, though. I think we need a 3x4. I don't think we need to worry about supports for you. Because um, we are going to upgrade you, but we also need to grab our nail gun. Why we came here. Because you are the upgrade of the hammer, yeah? Yes. Uh, so let's go ahead and scrap the hammer. Grab this bad boy. Okay, I did not mean to put our wood away. Alright, brass.
can also smelt some lead. Just grab five coal. Can also smelt sand and stone. Make a scope lens. We make cement with the stone. Let's just see what all we can make. We can make iron bars. Which would actually be kind of nice for our windows. Bullet casings is brass and clay. We can make arrowheads. Steel arrowheads. We need the crucible. We can make buckshots and bullet tips with lead. We already have the anvil. No, we don't. We don't have the anvil. Alright, let's get this melting. Anvil, we still need two more. Oh, this is instant. That's so perfect. That's so much faster. Okay, dew collector is going to be in our workbench. Put you out here. You need... Can we make any of this stuff? Isn't it... Wouldn't it be in science? Isn't one called the gather? One's definitely called the tarp. Can't make that here? Do we need like the chem station or something? Maybe it's tools? No. Interesting. Maybe we make that in the chem station? I'm not sure, but we definitely need to find parts for that. I don't think we have any at the moment. Um, we still want to do some upgrades at our base. All this stuff can go away. Uh, we'll take some cobblestone. We'll take this clay soil and make more cobblestone. that they like go sideways like that makes it very difficult to hit them and now if we go boom dude this nail gun is so nice perfect What do we need for that? We need an iron, uh, hatch. But, now y'all can kind of see how this is gonna work. Obviously, when we put the hatch up, they're not gonna be able to get through here. And I believe they'll have to break through this first before breaking through the hatch. We need that to be nice and strong. is probably going to chew through our wood. Um, we're not going to be able to get the corners either. I didn't really think about that. Let's pick that up. Crouch. Hit that one. How are we going to get... Boom. Okay, perfect. Place these down. All the bottom ones we should be able to hit from the ground. 
Still not exactly sure what I want to do. Uh. Interesting. We can see it, I bet, because we track the animals. Uh, let's put this up so we just don't get snuck up on. Hold it too. Perfect. Now we need to make an iron hatch in order to upgrade this. Um, I think if we put iron bars here, we can shoot through them, right? I could be wrong in that statement. I think that's the case. Now we got full wood at our base. Hey, we got a crawler or a spider. Okay. Definitely want to look for eggs. Gather some wood, might as well gather some more charcoal for fuel. Okay, it's about 118. So about three more hours of nighttime. And we'll probably take a break from base building. Um, I don't want to do anything else until I watch the video again. And I don't want to watch it while recording. Um, not. Nah, don't want to make you guys sit here. While I watch a video on how to make my base. Uh, let's make sure we get the meat from the snake. Um, and then I'll put the finishing touches on the base, probably next video. But we got the foundation, which is good. I just want to make sure we get, like, our alternative angles right. So, like, the windows. And I want to make sure that we have a good amount of protection for our front. Oh, God. That boar kind of scared me. Should give us plenty of meat, though. Nice, up to 40 meat. Perfect. Um, 811 wood. I feel okay about that. Uh, let's see about going back to base Just to be in a more safe area and we need to make a bunch of cobblestone I have no idea how much we need make another 250 we have plenty of small stones we got plenty of clay soil
Uh, we got some extra honey, which is great. Got two things of honey now. Yeah, only got one egg, which kind of... Kind of sucks. We're probably going to need more cobblestone. Um, let's queue up another two... Whoa. Queue up another 250 for now. Um... I'd like to check out this... Turret. It uses robotic turret ammo for ammunition. Oh! We can fire it. Or... We can deploy it. That's cool. Okay, robotic turret ammo. Robotic turret ammo. Oh, it's just a bunch of lead. We can also give it shotgun shells or armor piercing rounds. Okay, so this is like a punching thing. Interesting. We have one of those at our other base? Maybe? Can't quite remember. Uh, we got plenty of 9 mil ammo. Kinda wanna make sure that this is repaired. Uh, should probably repair the robotic turret. Make sure our spear is repaired. Uh, repair with the repair kit. With the repair kit. With the repair kit. We have plenty of repair kits, so I'm not worried about using those at all. We gotta wait until our cobblestone's done. And then, if we can put any more modifications, that would be nice. Uh, didn't we pick up a silencer? Or no? I won't lie, I have been playing this a little bit on my own time. Like, a, a fresh start, not this character. Um, but my own separate world, just because I've been trying to... Um, Get a hold of the base building mechanics a little bit more. I think it was the other run. No, we do have a silencer. Perfect. I feel like that would be really good to put on here. Yes, please. Reduces maximum range and damage. Uh, can we probably not put the barrel extender... on here with the silencer right now do we want the silencer are we really worried about that or would more range and damage i don't think i'm too worried about the silencer at least not for i mean the range isn't gonna be too helpful but honestly i don't even really plan on using the rifle for the next horde What can we modify you with? Uh, probably the full auto mod. Put you on there. I haven't found- what are the cosmetics? Is that like, uh, downloadable content? Or can you find cosmetics in this game? Mm. I doubt we can put any of this stuff on here. Oh, we can actually do both. Sure, more damage? Yes, please. 
Okay, cool. And we can put the silencer on the pistol as well. Uh, we'll worry about that stuff later, though. Um, it's about to be daytime. Uh, we might as well go ahead and cobblestone up our base over here. Just to get that done and kind of see how much more cobblestone we need. Also try and look for more eggs in these bird nests. Uh, but I kind of want to go some, do some exploring in the city. Ah. You have one little piece that got away from us. Boom. Okay. Even cobblestone is a one hit. Really nice. Alright, so we want to start with all of our support structures first. Definitely all of these first. The first places that are going to get hit by the zombies. We really need it in this area but we will do it just in case now from what I understand um, let's get 35 more building blocks From what I understand, uh, when we start having, like, the birds and stuff, a good way to take care of those is by setting up a roof above you and then placing spike traps on it. I don't know if, um... I don't know if wooden traps will do the uh, do the job for the birds if we just have a bunch of wooden traps up there but from what I understand they uh, they attack vertically when they're attacking in the horde so if you have a nine by or a three by three of traps right above where you're going to sit so like right by the doorway there, you should be covered. Uh, so we're probably gonna get some more wood. And at least for the top, we'll do um, we'll do wooden spike traps. I don't know if we'll have enough time to get iron spike traps. We probably should farm a bunch of iron, shouldn't we? And, not only that, but we need to start digging our pit out. Uh, we're thirsty. Really need to find some eggs. I also kind of read up a bit on the rage mode that zombies have, and I guess when they take fall damage, they go into rage mode. Um, which that just means that they'll attack like structures around, which is why we kind of want to build the pit. Not only that, but when they fall off this skinny little beam here, they'll fall down and take some damage from the traps. Now I'm not sure how deep we should be digging this pit. Um, but we'll get it started at least. And just kind of go from there. This is like a 
Hey, before the horde hits, don't forget to finish this. And then we should probably start crafting a bunch of forged iron. Can we see any iron on the map by us? Got some way up here. Got some over here and by the trader. None too close to our base, to be honest. Um, so let's go over here first. Sewing kit, iron, and wood. We'll definitely pick up as much trash as we can. Do a little exploration. Do some mining. Make sure this iron gets smelted. And then start crafting some forged iron. I think for forged iron we also need the clay soil. Um... So we might have to do some digging too. And just stock up on forged iron as much as we can. That way we can get some iron spike traps. And put it in our pit. Should have drank some coffee for the stamina regen. Now we're hungry, so our max stamina is reduced. Really need to find some, um... Some bird's nest. What the heck is up with that? We got about a thousand. I feel like that's a pretty good amount. Did we find any bird's nests along the way. Really? Nothing here? A little weird. Bunch of feathers. No eggs. What the heck is happening? Could always speak to Trader Jen. Perfect. Go ahead and grab our raw meat. But the push comes to shove, we'll just uh we'll just do a bunch of boiled meat. It's not the end of the world if that's what we have to do. Murky water, coffee beans. Are we going towards any more iron? We have some over here. I know we could have kept mining uh, the other area. That's still marked. Should be, yeah. I think that's what we were digging. Um, but I'm not really interested in going deep down underground and having to build our way out. Um, plus, I, I want to kind of multitask here. I'm looking for bird's nest. Obviously, if we can find honey, that's great. Um... And then we're also... Oh, jeez. Of course you're coming right towards us, huh?
Look at how nicely they line up for us. Two of them dropped loot for us. Hey, okay, spear crafting. Uh, increases your damage resistance, shotgun shells. Seed crafting, money. Nice. He unlocks some mushroom seeds. Bad they didn't have any food on them. Uh, you can't win them all, right? On the bright side, it's still only 8 o'clock, so we got plenty of daytime left. more iron? There is. Got this bird's nest. Grab this tree stump. Perfect. More honey. Uh, grabbing the trash sledgehammer crafting pretty sure we need quite a bit of that bullet tips and steel spear parts xanthium seeds finally a single egg sewing kit and lead glue and sewing kit glue cement and lead We'll take it. Is that more? Up there? Hey, we're thirsty. Drink some water. Might as well pop two of them. We don't have like any food we can eat real quick. We'll have to wait on that. We also need um our uh, dew collector parts. So it might not be a bad idea to go ahead and pick up some money and try and talk to Trader Jen real quick. Grab a little bit more iron, and then I think we'll do that uh, before the episode ends and before I forget. And then, like I said, um, we'll continue our base. Still want to do some exploration. Still need to find eggs. Be on the lookout for bird's nests. Taking out tree stumps as well. Wow, another honey. We'll take it. Why are they being stingy with the eggs? It's not cool. I always buy food from the vending machines. There's another egg. Maybe we should start selling some of our stuff. Like all of our extra supplies so we can make more money. Because I don't know if y'all know this about me yet. Compared to my other playthroughs. I don't know if we've really had like currency. I mean settlement had silver. Project Zomboid doesn't have currency. Um, But yeah I can be very stingy with my money. 
for just like materials in general i am definitely one of those people who will hold on to all of my consumables to my currency until the end of the game and then come to find out we never use them so now that i am recording when i play i am definitely trying to be better about that uh you guys are more than welcome to yell at me for it like hey you should probably use some of these items uh, and i'll keep that in mind but all i can say is i i promise to do my best okay we got three eggs Okay, let's take this. Um, we can make two bacon and eggs with that. We have one more water we can make. Put all of you away. Including the three extra waters. These can go in there. We need to smelt the iron and smelt more lead. Just pop 11 of you in here for now. And then as much forged iron as you can make, which is 137. It's awesome. Uh, clay soil, cobblestone for now you can go, feathers you can go, and then we are looking to grab our money, go talk to Trader Jen, see what materials she has for us, see if we can pick up anything else on the way. Bacon and eggs will give us a bunch of hunger, which is really nice. The problem is, is uh, we're probably going to have to eat both of them and then have no food again. Let's see if we can buy anything. We also need to check our dew collector. I mean, it is going to go slow, but still. There's something different about you today. What is it? New armor? Ooh, new haircut? Uh, I don't think either. I don't, I don't think I'm either. Sure I have something you'll need. Okay. You got charred meat for 57. I don't feel like that's worth it at all. You do have a large beef ration for 171. Not really interested in any of this stuff right now. Gather tarp. You have all three. But since that stuff is so expensive, I think I'm just going to start with the gatherer for now. Let's make sure we sell this. Uh, we probably should have grabbed our sunglasses for better bartering. Yeah, not really interested in any food that you have to offer. Uh, we could get an anvil. I don't know if there's anything we want to make with the anvil at the moment. Could buy some forged steel, and then we could get our uh, lever action rifle, maybe a steel spear. Uh, but I think I'm okay. Got some dart traps. Not exactly sure how those work. I hope you come back and see me sometime. Uh, what can we get in here? Be like can of tuna for sixty. That sounds amazing. Two cans of cat food for sixty. Let's do that. Uh, won't worry about anything to drink. Go ahead and pop this. Uh, pop one of these. And pop another one. Hopefully that'll get us out of our hunger status. 
Uh, we also had a vending machine in the store that's right behind our base. But... Can't remember if that was food or drink. Might have just been a drink vending machine. It did take us out of our hunger status, but we're still rather hungry. Hey. Stop. Knock it off. Okay, we got one water already. Not too shabby. Uh, let's go ahead and cook another water. Take this. Are we getting hit with another, like, horde? Oh, yeah. We got some zombies migrating. Oh god. Yeah, t take the hit for us, dog. You're much appreciated. Perfect. As long as none are hitting our house, I'm okay. Perfect. Handgun. Salvage tool. Goldenrod T. Ranger gloves. Go ahead and scrap you. Nice. Okay, so we got our gatherer going. We got a quest we can do. We're doing some of our base. I see a bird's nest that I want. And before we end the video. Okay, this is a drink vending machine. Does it work? Yes. Uh, goldenrod tea for 144, maybe. This is food. Can of peas for 60. For sure. Uh, because that gives us food and water. Let's go ahead and eat that. Now, I'm assuming vending machines restock after a while. Is that the case? But before we go any further, we are going to go ahead and end the episode here. Um, got a lot of things to do before, or a lot of things that we want to do before night 21 hits our third blood moon. Got some more additions to the base we want to do some more exploration um want to make sure all of our gear is in solid condition and uh we have what we need so gotta finish digging the pit any um additional like barriers we want to put up we want to see if the iron bars are a good choice and we also want to check out like the turret and stuff so as always i appreciate y'all for stopping by and I hope to see you in the next episode. Until then, peace out, y'all.